Good evening everybody and welcome back to another match here on WWE 2K19. Today we go into CM Punk versus John Moxley. This could be an incredible one. Of course, CM Punk rumoured to be making his AEW debut this week on Friday at Rampage, which is taking place in that big old Chicago arena. And could you just imagine the noise Chicago will give for CM Punk when he debuts? Or if he debuts, should I say? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, I have already said this week, though, if he doesn't debut, I think there could be some problems. I really do, because they have really... They've really made a lot of this. I say they've made a lot of it. They've hinted towards it quite a bit, and they've let it all run, and Punk himself has hinted towards it. So if it doesn't happen now, it's not going to look good for anyone involved, I don't think. But what a great match this would be. What a great feud this would be if uh, CM Punk was to come up against John Moxley. Of course, Moxley, um, I believe, did they work? No, I don't think they did, because this is one of the matches I always want to see in WWE, and I think Moxley and The Shield came up onto Raw not long after CM Punk had left, am I right? Or was there a brief bit of working together? I can't remember. Who was it who was screwed by Ryback? It might have been Punk who was screwed by Ryback, so the Shield may have made their debut against Punk. You might have to let me know that one in the comment section down below. I remember, if it was at Hell in a Cell or something like that? Where, no, Hell in a Cell, the referee... Um, turned and gave Ryback the win. And then I think the Shield turned up to help Ryback get the win another time. I don't know. I can't remember if that was CM Punk, though. But either way, I really wanted these two to work together a lot more. And there's so many incredible matches they could have had. And this is another opportunity for that to happen if Punk does join AEW. I mean, both of them are fantastic on the mic. Um, yeah, both of them absolutely fantastic on the mic. The war of words will be absolutely incredible. But not only that, I mean, especially if you add Eddie Kingston into the mix as well. But I feel like both their styles are quite well matched as well. I feel like they could work together pretty well. I feel like Punk will want to keep things inside the ring a little bit more. Whereas Moxley might want to go a bit more ground and pound on the outside. But apart from that, I feel like it would be a really interesting matchup between these two. But I would love to see it. And for me, John Moxley versus CM Punk is one of my dream matches. Because say I'm not quite sure it ever happened with Dean Ambrose, and I can I can I've got the internet. Why am I not checking? Um, let's type in Shield debut. Um, who did they attack? Oh no, they, they actually take out Ryback. Am I completely wrong? Oh, so Ryback was the face in the situation, and Ryback was the one who got screwed. Who was he up against? Let me have a gander. Uh, the Shield debuted. La da la da la la da la da la 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 la. Um. They wanted to find a way to um, to defeat Ryback while protecting him. But who was Ryback feuding up with? It was CM Punk. Okay. CM Punk had gone out of his way to let everyone know that he came up with the idea of the shield. The original plan was for a trio to enter a faction of Punk's unofficial forces to protect the champion's reign. WWE went back and forth with the idea of the next few months. Punk had loose ties to all the group attempting to help him. Um, but they also broke off on their own. The Shield lost all association with Punk after his feud with The Rock ended. So yeah, so Punk was involved, but The Shield I don't think ever really went up against Punk. It looks like they went off against... Um, uh, yeah, right back. CM Punk didn't want Roman Reigns in the group. He wanted Cassius Ono. I've known that for a long time anyway. Uh, Ambrose was set to be the unofficial leader. CM Punk told them to be careful because Ryback would not sell it properly. <laughs> there we go. The Moxley completely flattens. Vintage Moxley springs off the ropes in with the rebound clothesline. It's not quite enough, though. Punk able to kick out. Punk is rocking that crimson mask. 
Moxley now stalking CM Punk. Looking for that paradigm shift and lands it beautifully. Could that be the end of CM Punk's reign this week for the one, the two? And no, CM Punk able to kick out. Able to kick out on the three. Well, just before the three. Punk now shoulder blocking, taking down Moxley. Going to head up to the top. Of course, it was the elbow drop that got him the victory yesterday against MJF. He's going to go for it again. Will it give him the same amount of reward? Big elbow into the heart of Moxley. There is the pin for the one. The two. No, only a two count today. CM Punk now stalking, taking Moxley up on the shoulders, looking for that GTS. There we go. There's the pin. One, two, and three. And CM Punk does pick up the win once again. That's three out of three for him this week now. He moves up to plus one on the rankings, whereas Moxley, who was on plus one, is going to move down to zero. Wow. What a great run this has been so far for CM Punk, and he still has a few more days to build this up even more. There was that big paradigm shift. I thought it was game, set, match right there, as did all these people here live in Chicago. But it was not enough, of course. Only enough for the two. CM Punk then rocked that massive Macho Man style elbow, but again, not enough. But then was able to follow up here with the GTS. And down goes Moxley. Punk into the pin for the one, the two, and the three. There we go. CM Punk then is victorious here in his third match of the week. We've got two more of these coming up for you over the next two days. Some interesting matches I would like to see in AEW. So far, we've seen, of course, John Mox. We've seen MJF. We've seen Pentagon Jr. Two more big ones to come over the next two days. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and all the other good stuff. And I will see you again next time for another match here on WE2K19. Bye-bye.